What's up guys, Rush here, and welcome to another episode of Common Climate Claims, a series of short videos in which we look at some of the most common claims made about climate change. These are the kind of claims which are frankly too dumb to be worthy of the kind of detailed debunk you'll find in my longer videos, but they're still common enough that they're worth addressing. Last week, we refuted the argument that climate scientists dropped the term global warming in favour of climate change, a claim which a few simple Google searches easily put to rest. But this week, we'll be looking at a claim which is potentially one of the most frustrating that I've come across, and that's the claim that the climate has always changed. Now, obviously, this is a factually accurate statement. I don't know of anyone, climate scientist or otherwise, who would dispute the fact that the climate has always changed. But that's precisely why this argument is so dumb. I've come across a worryingly large number of people who state this fact as if it refutes the theory of anthropogenic global warming. But, well, it doesn't. The fact that the climate has always changed doesn't mean that current climate change is natural, nor does it mean that we shouldn't be worried about it. That conclusion just doesn't logically follow. So I've always been a bit baffled by the people who use this argument as if it does. What exactly do they think they're proving? Climate scientists are well aware of the vast record of climate change in Earth's geological past. Indeed, there's an entire field of climate science dedicated to studying exactly this. It's called paleoclimatology, and it's an area which, as a trained geologist, I'm quite familiar with. What's more, there is abundant evidence from the paleoclimate record which indicates that rapidly increasing CO2 in the atmosphere has caused global warming many times in the past. So saying the climate has always changed, as if it's a refutation of the theory of anthropogenic global warming, really isn't the argument they think it is. Perhaps that's why I find this argument particularly grating. It would be a bit like if, when your doctor asks you to stop smoking because it caused cancer, you respond by saying, but cancer existed before smoking. Yeah, of course it did. What's your point? The fact that cancer predates smoking doesn't mean that smoking can't cause cancer, or that you shouldn't be worried about it. Similarly, just because the climate changed long before humans existed, it doesn't mean that humans can't cause climate change, or that climate change is benign. In fact, as I mentioned, the paleoclimate evidence actually supports the idea of man-made global warming. It clearly demonstrates that the climate only changes for a few specific reasons. The first is a change in solar insulation, the amount of energy we receive from the sun. The second is a change in albedo, the amount of energy reflected off Earth's surface. And the third is a change in the greenhouse effect. We are significantly affecting the latter. Therefore, the climate is changing. And here's another reason why this argument is dumb. The very fact that the climate has always changed, often quite dramatically, reveals that the climate system is inherently unstable and vulnerable to small perturbations. In other words, the long record of climate change in Earth's history is evidence that small changes in the system can drive large changes in climate. This means that we should be more concerned by human impacts on the climate, not less. And then there's the fact that if we compare the rate of current climate change with our long record of the past, current warming is an order of magnitude faster than anything in the geological record. Now, I've had skeptics respond to this by saying that it's an unfair comparison, that the resolution of modern climate data is much finer than the resolution of paleoclimate data, and that climatic changes like those occurring in the present would therefore not show up in the geological record. And to be fair, there is some truth to that. We can measure temperature differences on a day-to-day -day basis in the present, but we have to measure them over much larger time periods in the geological past. But at best, this is a pretty weak objection. It's simply pointing out that we can't know for certain whether a similar rate of climate change has occurred before. There will always be uncertainty in science. But the fact remains, there is no evidence at all that such a rapid rate of warming has ever occurred in the past. Suggesting that it could have is speculation at best. If your doctor told you that you had a potentially dangerous condition which was progressing more rapidly than anything on record, the fact that someone else might have experienced the same thing before wouldn't be much consolation, would it? We also know for a fact that current warming is being driven by man-made emissions, so even if we could find an example of similarly rapid warming occurring in the past, it wouldn't make the situation any better. And the final flaw with this argument is the implication that because climate change can occur naturally, it's nothing to worry about. 
This is an example of something called the naturalistic fallacy, the idea that because something is natural, it must be good, or in this case, harmless. I shouldn't need to explain why this reasoning is wrong. Lead, plutonium, arsenic, cyanide, anthrax, the Black Death, cancer, Rupert Murdoch, they're all natural. Well, maybe not Murdoch. There is also plenty of paleoclimate evidence linking past climate change to mass extinctions, so the fact that the climate can change naturally is no reason to be complacent. So, in conclusion, the fact that the climate has always changed doesn't mean what many skeptics seem to think it means, and by studying past climate change, climate scientists have arrived at precisely the opposite conclusion from what many climate skeptics seem to think this claim implies. So this is a plea to anyone who unironically uses this argument. Please stop, it just exposes your ignorance. Literally no one thinks that climate change is new, and the fact that you guys seem to think that they do just reveals how little you understand the position that you think you're opposed to. So that's the end of the video. What do you guys think? Have you ever come across this argument? Does it frustrate you as much as it does me? And what other arguments would you like me to cover? Let me know in the comments, and if you want to see more of my content then don't forget to like, comment and smash that subscribe button, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.